So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. Elon Musk wants Optimus to be affordable for the masses. But first, Tesla may sell it at sixty thousand dollars to limit demand and perfect production. Once robots start building robots, the price could crash to ten thousand dollars. What impact will Tesla's pricing strategy have on the future of the robotics industry? Before we begin, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How will the price of the Tesla Bot decrease as mass production scales up? Will the Tesla Bot truly become a mass market product priced under $20,000, as Elon Musk once claimed? This isn't just a futuristic question, it's a very real economic and engineering challenge. In the still nascent humanoid robot industry, most current products are priced from tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Boston Dynamics has never commercialized the Atlas robot, while Figure AI has priced the Figure 01 between $70,000 and $100,000 for enterprise use. In such a market, Elon Musk boldly asserts that Optimus could one day cost less than a compact car even targeting below $20,000 in the near future. It sounds ambitious, but if we look at how Tesla approached electric cars, particularly the Model 3, and soon the Model 2, this isn't an impossible leap. At the heart of this price-cutting strategy lies one key factor, production scale. In industry, there's a well-known rule. The more you make, the less each unit costs. This is called the learning curve. Tesla applied this principle rigorously in EV manufacturing, slashing battery costs from over $150 per kilowatt hour down to nearly $100 per kilowatt hour within just a few years. For Optimus, Elon Musk has confirmed that the company is producing the first batch of 10,000 robots in the U.S. This is the starting point of the learning curve, a first batch that allows Tesla to build, iterate, and optimize, eventually moving toward producing 100,000 or even 1 million units annually. So the question is, does Tesla have the tools to make that happen? The answer lies in Tesla's existing ecosystem. Unlike other robotic startups starting from scratch, Tesla already owns a massive tech arsenal from its EV business, LFP batteries, self-driving cameras, FSD chips, electric motors, wiring systems, and even a global production network. What has already been mass-produced for cars can now be repackaged and reused in Optimus. It's not just the hardware that's being reused. Tesla is also applying its minimalist design philosophy. As Elon Musk once said, the best part is no part. Optimus Gen 3 currently weighs around 110 pounds, nearly half the weight of Boston Dynamics Atlas. Thanks to the elimination of unnecessary components, optimized actuators, and a restructured mechanical frame. A lighter robot means smaller batteries, lower energy consumption, and most importantly, easier production. Imagine if a robot needs only 100 parts instead of 300. How much faster could it be assembled? And when production speed increases, costs drop again, it's the same loop Tesla leveraged with the Model Y and GigaPress. Even more intriguing, Tesla is going one step further, robots building robots. Musk hinted that in the future, Optimus will assist in its own assembly line, inspecting parts, packaging, even supporting human technicians. A self-replicating robot model, if successful, could generate a scaling effect no company has ever achieved. This could explain why Tesla dares to bet on producing millions of units per year, a goal many still find hard to believe. Another smart move Tesla might apply is a subscription or leasing model. Instead of selling a robot for a high upfront price, they could lease Optimus for a few hundred dollars a month, recouping costs gradually while keeping production at scale. This model has already succeeded in the software industry, and if executed well, could bring Tesla Bot into ordinary households, not just large enterprises. That said, all of this still needs one thing, time. No one can bring the price of Optimus under $20,000 in just the first year or two. In reality, the first version of Tesla Bot will likely be sold for around $60,000, mostly to industrial and logistics partners. But, if Tesla continues expanding its production lines, refining the design, leveraging robots to build robots, and stimulating demand through leasing, then slashing the price to one-third is entirely feasible. In the end, it's not just about lowering the price, it's about scaling the solution so that this robot can serve every sector and every user, from factories and hospitals 
to everyday households. And if we look back at the journey from Model S to Model 3, it's fair to say Tesla has done it once with electric cars, and now they're trying to do it again with humanoid robots. Once again, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why might Tesla release multiple versions of Optimus at different price points? Tesla is fully capable of launching multiple versions of the Optimus robot tailored to different customer segments in the U.S. A strategic, streamlined, and highly practical move. Instead of placing all expectations on a single model, Tesla could segment the robot lineup by user needs, optimizing both performance and cost for different living and working environments. This is not just a way to accelerate commercialization. It is the most viable path to making Optimus a mainstream product in the domestic market. At the top tier would be Optimus Pro, designed specifically for industrial zones, automated warehouses, or large-scale manufacturing facilities across states like Texas, Ohio, or the Midwest. This version would handle repetitive, labor-intensive tasks such as loading goods, assembling parts, or inspecting workflows. With the ability to lift 50 to 60 pounds per arm, a frame made of steel or high-strength alloy, robust actuators, and a battery capable of eight hours of continuous operation, Optimus Pro is built to be an untiring robotic worker. The projected price would range from $60,000 to $75,000, a reasonable figure compared to the cost of hiring full-time labor in the U.S. for one to two years, not including insurance or shift premiums. On the opposite end, Optimus Lite would be a stripped-down version aimed at the general public, specifically middle-class families in the U.S., where priorities are convenience, safety, and affordability. This robot doesn't need to lift heavy loads or run continuously. It just needs to handle simple household tasks, such as bringing water, picking up objects, carrying laundry, opening doors, or turning lights on and off. By removing high-powered motors, using lighter materials, and simplifying software, Tesla could price Optimus Lite between $15,000 and $20,000, on par with or even cheaper than a sedan in the U.S especially if Tesla applies a leasing model similar to the Model 3. Users could bring home a robotic assistant for just $300 to $400 per month. However, the most crucial segment in the U.S. may be healthcare and elder care, where labor shortages are worsening and caregiver costs continue to rise. Optimus Care could be a game-changing support solution for nursing homes, medical centers, or even private residences. Focused on safety, smooth movement, and natural English language interaction, this version could detect critical situations such as falls, extended immobility, or irregular breathing patterns. If equipped with medical sensors, emotional response audio, and a soothing voice interface, Optimus Care could retail for $25,000 to $30,000, significantly cheaper than full-time live-in care, which often exceeds $5,000 per month in states like California or New York. Three versions with three distinct directions yet all share the same hardware foundation, operating system, and over-the-air update capabilities. This is a competitive edge only Tesla holds. Thanks to a modular design, a single Optimus frame could be configured into Light, Care, or Pro, depending on the customer's budget and intended use. It is a remarkably efficient way to control pricing, simplify production lines, and offer a unified user experience much like how Apple builds a seamless ecosystem from iPhone to MacBook. Rather than dreaming of a single, all-in-one robot, Tesla may realize the robotic future through diversity and specialization. A $20,000 robot may grab headlines, but a product lineup ranging from $15,000 to $75,000, serving the right people with the right capabilities, is the true key to bringing Optimus into every home, every factory, and every medical center across the U.S. How is Tesla using high initial pricing of the bot to control demand? From the very beginning, Tesla's announcement of an estimated $20,000 price tag for Optimus shocked the global tech community. However, anyone who has followed Elon Musk's product launch strategies knows that this figure isn't intended for immediate sales but rather as a declaration of intent. In reality, Tesla is highly likely to set a high initial price, not only because production costs are still expensive, but also for clear strategic goals, to control demand, prevent overloading the production line, and most importantly, position Optimus as a premium product, much like they did with the Model S and Roadster. Tesla is currently in the early stage of humanoid robot production, 
and the volume for the first year, according to Elon Musk, might only reach 10,000 units at the U.S. factory. With such limited quantity, setting a low price would cause demand to far exceed supply, leading to order backlogs, supply chain issues, and a negative customer experience. The lesson from canceling hundreds of thousands of Cybertruck pre-orders is still fresh. Instead, Tesla may choose to price Optimus Gen 3 above $40,000, $60,000 during the first two years, targeting strategic customers such as large enterprises, research institutions, or healthcare organizations, entities willing to pay a premium, and provide the real-world data needed for Tesla to refine the software. A high initial price also plays a key role in crafting Optimus's premium image. In the U.S., where brand prestige and exclusivity carry weight, a costly technology product does not deter interest, but rather reinforces the perception of being a cutting-edge pioneer. Just as the Model S paved the way for the Model 3, Optimus Gen 3, with its high price, will establish itself as the most advanced robot, available only to early adopters. The early adopter mindset in America is strong. Many will pay double to be among the first to own new technology, and Elon Musk knows this better than anyone. Furthermore, an elevated price in the initial stage allows Tesla the flexibility to gradually adjust downward over time. As production scales up, from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of robots per year, and unit costs fall thanks to economies of scale, Tesla could reduce the price to around $25,000 before finally reaching the officially stated $20,000 target. This is a familiar strategy thread through Tesla's EV line. The Model S debuted at $80,000, followed by the $35,000 Model 3, and now the upcoming sub-$25,000 Model 2. It is the same technological base deployed in stages to align with actual production capacity. On the other hand, a high entry price is also a way to test the U.S. market's readiness for humanoid robots. Are enterprises and individuals truly willing to pay $60,000 for a mobile AI assistant when the average yearly salary for a full-time American worker is about $50,000? If the answer is yes, even when rental options might cost $1,500, $2,000 per month, Tesla would receive clear validation to ramp up production quickly. If initial demand is low, they can still adjust without facing significant losses. Finally, Starting with a high price helps Tesla to reclaim R&D spending early, spending that has spanned many years and involved hundreds of millions of dollars in AI, robotics, mechanical, design, operating systems, and in-house tooling. In the early stages, each Optimus sold may not produce large profits, but with a high price, Tesla at least avoids losses and builds the financial foundation needed to improve the next generation. We appreciate your contributions, and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.